We're now going to look at views because what we've been doing so far is actually outputting data within our controller, which is a massive no-no. We don't want to do this. What we do want to do is send variables to our view, which we can then output without too much logic within our view. Obviously, you will get some kind of logic in your view, like uh, looping, well, not logic, but you know, doing things like that. But generally, we do all of the logic inside of our controller or our model, the controller handles that, and then we go ahead and render the view. So we've interacted with our model, we've updated the name of it based on the parameter we sent through from the URL. Now we want to load in a model, and we're gonna create a method in here, uh, load in a view, sorry. We're gonna create a method in here that will do that. So we want to create a new public function this time called view and again we have a view name here and we also have data that we want to pass through to the view we'll deal with this in just a moment so it's really as easy as requiring in a view basically that we've created so let's create a view very very quickly we know that we've got a views folder inside of our app directory we've got a home folder as well let's create a new file within this home uh, and call it index.php and let's just echo out hello here eventually we'll replace this with the name so when we call a view we want to say this view home index now bear in mind that this has no correlation with this at all it's not related what we're doing here is essentially providing a directory path so it's home index we could call this bananas for all we care and here we'd, we'd just call index bananas but let's say home index so this is calling the view method on the controller that we've extended so all we want to do here is require in app views x dot php now x can be a directory path so home slash index in this case we're just going to say view so this will include in app views slash home slash index.php so slash home slash index.php and data will then automatically be available within this view because we've passed it through to this method so now what we can actually do is well we'll check if it works first because that's important now you can see here that we're actually getting an error. We're seeing a missing argument too for controller view. Now the reason for that is that inside of our controller we've got our data here which we actually need to automatically define as an empty array because sometimes we might not want to pass data through to our view. We might just want to show a page. In this case that will then uh, fix that problem. What we now want to do is take this first parameter here, pass this through to our view and output it so inside of here we want to create an array and I'm going to say name is user name so this is coming from our model that we interacted with earlier we set the name here and we're outputting it here so obviously it's useless functionality but we're just demonstrating how this might work so now inside of uh, index.php we can actually output this so we say data name and that's it so when we refresh it says hello billy and we can do the same we can change this if we wanted so that is how we pass in uh, data to our view we don't have to pass data to our view but we've used our view method on our base controller to require in the view that we requested